Good morning, this is Hannah with Merle Norman. Um, I'm here to show you some lip looks and introduce our new lipstick line called Plush Lipstick. So they come in these fun magnetic containers and it is both a long wearing lip color as well as a hydrating and smoothing lipstick. So the, the big benefits of this is that it does not feather and bleed, so it doesn't get in little lines or cracks around your mouth. And for most people, it stays on all day with very minimal touch-ups needed. So it's kind of the combination of the best of every type of lipstick all combined into one. So these have quickly become a bestseller of ours. They've been out about a month now. So there's 17 different shades in it. Um, I have done a little mini swatch of eight of my favorites. I'm going to demonstrate Brazen today. It's this one on the bottom. And that's been probably our top seller. Actually, all the four on this side of my hand have been top sellers of ours. But it just depends on what you're looking for and um, your skin coloring, the color in your lips as to what you will like and what will look best on you. So I'll just tell you the names of these if you're interested, if you want to stop by the store and know what to ask for. So the first one is City Girl. Then we've got Flutter, Stylish, and Brazen. And then Stunner. This one is Oh Behave, Power Play, and Daredevil. So those are my eight favorites. But like I said, there's 17 shades. And we're coming out with, I think it's five more for our winter collection. So um, I also want to talk about lip liner and lip trends today. So one of the big trends um, years ago was a dark lip liner with a very minimal lipstick. So that's not really the in look today, but lip liner is always in. Because what it does is it gives you the appearance of fuller and um, more perfectly shaped lips. So that never goes out of style. So I'm going to demonstrate one of our age-defying lip liners called Cocos. And these are nice because they're self-sharpening. You just roll it up. There's a sharpener on the end. If you want to sharpen it, you can get a really fine tip that way. But um, I really never even sharpen them. So the way I normally demonstrate lip liner is you start with like a little flat dash mark on the bottom and a little V on the top just to create a more perfect lip because most people's lips are not totally symmetrical. So that allows you to get the appearance of more symmetrical lips. So I'm just doing like a little line on the bottom right at the edge of my lips because I don't want to short my lips any. Um, but you don't want to line way outside of your lips or it looks artificial. You can really see your lip liner. And then once you've done that, you just take it and kind of wiggle it in short little strokes, following the curve of your lips to the outer corners. So I'll get a little closer so you can see that. So it looks a little funny at first, but if you choose a lip liner that is almost the same color as your lipstick, then it looks very natural once you're finished. And that's definitely the way you want to go with the current lip trends. You want it to match or come really close to matching your lipstick. And then when your lipstick wears off just a little bit, it won't be obvious that you have a bunch of lip liner on. So then you just take your lipstick, and blend inside and then kind of up to your lip liner so you really can't tell. So there's brazen. It's brazen with the Coca's lip liner. So you can also change the color of your lipstick just a little bit by changing the color of your liner. Um, like I've worn brazen with more of a red lip liner. Coca's, I'll do a little swatch in my hand. It's more of kind of a neutral brown tone. So that's it there. But you can turn brazen to more of like a rusty red if you put a red lip liner with it. 
One other trend, if you don't want to have a lip liner, but you want a little bit smoother look to your lips, you can put on the plush lipstick first, and then you kind of smooth it out with a clear lip pencil. And this is neat because it'll go with all of your lipsticks. Um, and you really don't have to have but just, just one of them for all your lipsticks. So you really can't see it at all. But it has a little bit of a waxy texture. So if your lipsticks tend to bleed, these don't bleed. But um, if some of your creamier lipsticks bleed, this is a really good option. Or if you're wearing especially a dark color and it doesn't look perfect around the edges from just putting it on with the tube, then put it on first and kind of smooth out the edges with the clear lip pencil. So let me know if you've got any other questions, but um, definitely stop by the store and try out the plush lipstick. We've got testers of all of them, so if you want to try it in the store or if you'd like to take some home, um, you can take some little bubbles home and find your favorite shade. Have a great day.